let's look at the exam style question first one we are need we need to find the value of n given 5 to the power n times 5 squared equals 5 8 but given that they have the same base of 5 we can add the powers so we have 5 to the power n plus 2 equals to 5 8 and because they have the same base then the powers must be the same so n plus 2 must be equal to 8 then you solve for n so n is equal to 6 let's look at number 2 you need to remember that 8 to the power 0 is 1 or anything to the power 0 except 0 is equal to 1 so we can write 8 to 1 as power of 3 this is already power of 3 so we can write our 1 as a power of 3 to the power 0 so the first thing is to do that this is already power of 3 so we change 8 to 1 to the power of 3 and we turn 1 also into power of 3 now we are multiplying so we can add the powers and maintain one of the bases and since they all have the same base then the powers must also be equal so 2n plus 4 equals 0 we solve it by subtracting 4 from both sides so n when you work it out finally n will be equals to negative 2 when you divide 2n by 2 and divide negative 4 by 2 you have n equals to 2 let's look at the third one you need to try and rewrite 64 and 16 into uh, same using the same base you can choose to use uh, 2 or you can choose to use the number that is convenient to you I would prefer to use 2 or 4 but it's a matter of choice whichever way you use whether 4 or 2 you get the same answer so I'm using 4 so 64 itself is 4 cubed so you have 4 cubed then a power of what 2x then we have 16 which is also 4 squared then there's another power of x plus 4 in bracket now remember when you have an index to another index the rule is to multiply the powers so we expand the bracket by multiplying the powers so this actually becomes 4 to the power 6x when you expand the powers 4 to the power 2x plus 4 they have the same base and therefore the powers must be equal so you equate them and you solve the mass equation subtracting x from both sides and dividing each by 4 x is equal to 2 